There's a washing machine about like two meters from me, but I'm still gonna hope you can't hear it. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to a thing we never did, I think. Today I want to show you my favorite products for my lips when I wear cool tones. Because I know the struggle of looking for cool tone lip products or just things that look good if you have cool tones on your eyes. You wouldn't believe it, but this look was actually instructed by ChatGPT. So if you want to check out that video, then go check that out and then come back. I want to show you my favorite lip products that I own that I think personally look great with cool toned eye looks and just cool tones in general. <laughs> I have different things, I have lip liners, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses and regular lipsticks just to give you like a variety of options based on what you prefer in terms of the finish and the longevity of the lip. I'm gonna start off with lip liners and I actually have four different ones. Now these are going to be curated more to my own skin tone and skin depth because I'm pretty pale and I'm also like a neutral undertone. I'm, it can kind of get away with both warm and cool tone. So I have four different lip liners. They're all pretty affordable. I'm gonna start with the cheapest one by far. And I, I don't use this one much, but it really impressed me with the tone. This is the Relove by Revolution Super Fill Lip Liner in the shade Cream. This is very, very pale, but the tone of this is actually very nice. It's a very, very pale beige. Now, the camera is corrected, but it still looks warmer than it looks in real life. So up to an extent, you you just have to trust me to some extent. This one is quite dry and in terms of the longevity, I don't really have like a firm opinion on it. So I'm not sure if it like wears really, really well because I haven't really worn it for so long. But if I just put like a gloss on top of this, it makes a nice concealer lip kind of thing to wear with your cool tones. I know many people like to wear this still. I do wear this once in a while. It's not like my go-to look or like a go-to lip, but I feel like these are so hard to come by. And if you are really pale, this might look very different on you than it does on me. So I think it's nice to mention something like this. The second one I have is like a similar kind of vibe. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Cool BFF. This is more pink toned for sure. If I swatch them next to each other, you can see that this one is definitely more pink toned and a little bit deeper but it's such a pretty, pretty shade. Also, the Lippy Pencil formula is definitely less dry and it's very long wearing. And even though it's a bit more pink toned, I still kind of classify it as a nude. Yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. I'm, I'm gonna be talking just about nudes. The mauves and pinks and different things are just not here today. <laughs> if you want another like shade family, let me know. But these are just things that I consider nude cool toned lips for myself. I really like it. I think it matches the look pretty well too. I don't even wanna apply a gloss over this because it doesn't look as crusty as the other one. So formula wise, I'm definitely more fan of the ColourPop lip liners. And now I have two different NYX lip liners in two different formulas. So this one is probably my ultimate favorite, as you can tell by the size. And this is the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige. They have many different shades that are kind of like paler or deeper. It's like a whole spectrum of these cool tones. And this one was just like my favorite, like my perfect nude. It 
it's a perfect nude for me. Like the depth of this is very nice. It's kind of like balanced. It's not overpowering the face. You know, it's not too light, not too dark. It's just right. If I want something super neutral and just, you know, like low key, almost not there. This is the perfect lip liner. And if I'm if I need a lip liner for a cool tone look, this is gonna be the one I reach for, like nine out of ten times for sure. The formula is a bit more dry, but honestly, the shade just really makes up for it. And now the last lip liner in the collection that I want to mention here is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is a different formula in the shade Munchies. Like this is incredible. As you can tell probably by the cap, it's a little bit darker than the previous one, but it's definitely like a cool tone staple. For some reason, this one is like really hard to show on camera, but it's almost like a gray brown, very unique shade, and I really, really like it. And it's actually a great lip liner for some of the liquid lipsticks I'm going to show you, because it kind of gives you like that depth and that coolness that many liquid lipsticks have, but not very many lip liners have. So this one really is another one that I would definitely recommend. Now let's move on to liquid lipsticks. I have only two because, as you probably know, I don't really wear them that often. I also found out that it's very hard to get like a good, cool toned liquid lipstick. And I have a couple, which are all like limited holiday collections from NYX, so I'm not gonna show you these. I'm gonna show you a bit more like usual ones. The first one I want to talk about is kind of like a cult favorite that I arrived way too late to. And it's the KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. Now this is the old packaging, probably the old formula, but they are reformulating it to the new formula at the moment. I saw it on their Instagram. So KVD is about to have this shade with like a different name, different branding, but it should still be like the similar shade. And the thing about this is that it's a perfect depth for me to call it a nude and also like a perfect tone. The application is just not gonna be there, okay? I don't have the practice anymore. But this shade is genuinely beautiful. It kind of gives you like that old school, super smooth, bake your lip but better kind of vibe. And I'm kind of here for it. I mean, these are very comfortable. They don't really dry your lips out too much and they wear really well. I'm just not about that matte lip kind of life. But if I was, I feel like this would be one of the like top choices because it's a beautiful color. Don't mind the foundation around my mouth, okay? It's gonna look bad. And the second liquid lipstick I want to talk about, you may argue this is too dark for a nude. I don't think so. This is what I consider a cool tone nude as well. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. Again, this is an old school favorite that I arrived a little too late to, but it's a beautiful shade. This one, also beautiful, a bit deeper, a bit heavier on the bottom side of the face, but I just, I love a good dark lip. Like this is a mood. I really like how this looks. The thing about this one is that it has like this gray, almost purple undertone, which makes it really, really pretty and very different and also easy to pair with different like tones of purple, gray, blue and stuff like that. Very pretty shade, very unique. This one is not as long wearing as the KVD one, this one does kind of dry down, but not as sturdy, if it makes sense. Like, if you eat, chances are this is gonna come off. Depends on what you prefer in, like, your wear time. I like that this one is very affordable, and it lasts you a very long time because it's a huge tube. <laughs> and it's really nice. I like it. It's not as drying as, like, regular liquid lipsticks. This one is a little bit more like satiny, it kind of dries, but not fully. It's a it's a hard formula to explain. I mean, it says cream lipstick and that's true. Now let's go with like the regular lipsticks, which are more like, you know, tube lipsticks, 
I would say this is like the most basic kind of product most people are probably gonna use, not sure. However, I do have a few, I think I have three, technically four. But I gotta start with this one. This is like a very affordable, honorable mention. It's the Essence Hydrating Nude Lipstick in the shade Romantic. So it's like very fuss free, I would say. But it gives your lips like this nice cool toned veil of color. It's beige, it's hydrating, it feels great on the lips. It's almost like a lip balm. It's a bit sheeny, not too much. So again, for me personally, this is a great nude I would definitely wear with a lot of cool tones and I do. And like, it's a bargain. Like this is like, this is such a cheap lipstick. And it's so good. Like from drugstore, I usually don't expect much in terms of cool tone lipsticks or like more complex shades. But this, this is a great example of the fact that, yeah, even very cheap drugstore brands can do well in the lipstick department. And I also think this collection was kind of like built around all different nudes. So even if you had like different complexion depth, there is a chance that they might have a shade that's going to be suitable for you if you are looking for a cool tone. Because I assume if they did one skin tone with cool tone shade, they're probably gonna have more, right? Or at least you would hope so. I guess that's not really how the cosmetic industry works though, does it? Next we have another drugstore hero. These are not like fully cool toned, but they look very good with cool tones. So I'm gonna start off with a lighter one. They're the Kiko Milano Jelly Stylo. And the lighter one is the shade 502. So the first one is kind of like a peach lip, but make it cool toned. I really like this shade. I think it's just very different. It's kind of beige and kind of nude, but not like anything else I own. Very nice. Again, very pale, but I like this one for cool toned looks because it's kind of like concealer lip, but make it wearable. It's like light enough, but it's kind of reflective. It's just great. Formula wise, I really like these. And also shade wise, they have a lot of shades. And these browns specifically are very good. Then we have the second one, which is the shade 510 in the same formula. And that is more like a chocolatey dark brown. Again, thanks to the formula, I can consider this a darker nude on me. This one kind of gives you that like dark lip, but not really kind of look which I actually really like because it makes me less stressed about wearing a lip that's dark. <laughs> but again, you can probably see that the formula is the same. It's jelly. It's just a bit sheer. It's very reflective, not fully opaque, and it looks really good. And this brown is just perfect. It's like a medium, a little bit more on the darker side, very cool toned, almost has the purpleiness to it again. Very good nude, would recommend 100%. If you want a dark brown lipstick, but you're scared of dark brown lipsticks, this is the kind of thing I would recommend for you. And last but definitely not least, this is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade I Quit. Listen, this one, this is by far my most favorite, just like cool toned lip product. I definitely use this one the most. And I usually use it for like an ombre lip kind of thing. I'm gonna apply it around the whole mouth, but every time you see me like out there in the wilderness with a cool toned ombre lip, this is what's on my lips every goddamn time. I just cannot apply lipstick anymore. I don't think I ever wore this as like a full lipstick. But now that I see it, it's actually very similar in tone to the Kiko Stylo. This one, just the formula, is very good if you want to layer gloss on top. That's why I usually use it for the ombre, because it's matte, but it's not drying. It's very easy to apply. It's very tiny, so you can just carry it around with you. And I just love the color. Again, it's like a super cool toned, medium to dark brown. Great. Love it. This is just my favorite cool tone lip product. Like, Fenty usually delivers some of the most like rare undertones. And when I saw this lipstick, it's just called my name. And that is all from the lipstick department. Now we're going to move on to glosses. Now I feel like with glosses, I actually discovered my love for cool tones and for browns in general. I'm gonna start off with this one, which is like the, the ultimate. And it's the I Heart Revolution lip gloss from the I Heart Chocolate line in the shade Honeycomb. This is just the ultimate cool tone gloss when I was like 
17, 18. This was all I used to wear. Incredible. This one and the salted caramel one, but that one's not that cool toned. And the thing about these, of course, they all smell like the different type of chocolate they are. So this one does smell like honey and chocolate. But the formula of this is amazing because they have kind of like a medium coverage. They're not fully opaque, but they're enough covering so you can really see the color and it's not letting your lip color ruin the tone, which is issue with some glosses. Here, if I have it on, you know I have a cool tone lip gloss and you're not questioning it by any chance. And the formula is great. It's not sticky. It's very lightweight. It's just enough reflective. It's nothing like super crazy, super shiny or voluminous. It's just a very basic gloss that's very cheap, smells of chocolate and it's great. And they have like a whole variety of shades. I have many of these and I like them all because they just simply work really well. Super easy to wear and so many different tones for different looks. And this one, Honeycomb, my favorite for the cool tones. Very good lip gloss. If you want something cool toned and very affordable, highly recommend. But let's move on to another one. This is the Beauty Bay lip gloss in the shade Mocha. This one is not as cool toned, but I really like it for cool toned looks. This one is a little bit deeper. It's not as pale. I would say that compared to the Revolution one, these are a bit more pigmented, a little bit thicker, a bit more there, but the finish is very similar. They're also not sticky. I don't mind the thicker gloss, so the difference is very minimal to me. I just really like the shade. It's kind of like a bit deeper, a bit less cool toned, but still very neutral. So you can kind of wear this with anything, which I really like. And also these are pretty affordable and they have many different shades. So Beauty Bay glosses, yeah, the last like pigmented gloss that I have is this one, which again, like not fully cool toned, but I really like it for cool toned looks. And it's the Lunar Beauty Moon Gloss. This is a, a great one. I love the formula of the Lunar Beauty glosses. They're super thick. Almost like a lip balm. They just feel like lip care. I feel like this one is... Definitely a lot more reflective, a little bit more runny and a bit like thicker. Feels very good, feels almost like a lip balm. It's very pale and it kind of lets my natural lip color peek through. So it's not as cool toned or like as pigmented, which makes it a little bit, well, different. It's not less or more suitable to the cool tones, but it just looks a bit different. And this is like very low maintenance because you don't have to worry about it. It's not fully opaque, it's not gonna you know, be too visible if you eat it off or something. And now, this is almost like a hack, but I feel like these are so important to mention. The first one I want to talk about, also glosses by the way, is the NYX This Is Juice Gloss, which is kind of like an electrolyte infused lip gloss, whatever. But it's in the shade Blueberry Mood. This is a blue lip gloss. It's the most genius thing I've ever bought because this makes everything the perfect cool toned lip because. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my slightly powdered lips. Like, of course, it's not blue because it's very sheer. All of these are, but all of these glosses kind of give you like a hint of that color. So the blue one really gives you like that bluey tint to everything you wear. See, like my lips are not blue, but you can tell there's something going on. Like they are very cool toned and I'm not wearing anything else than the gloss. So this is kind of like a hack if you wanna tone your lips a certain way without actually using like a full on color. Product like this can really like change the way you do it because it's very low maintenance, you still get some pigmentation in your lips because they are your lips. And it just looks very natural, very effortless, which I like. They also have like a red one, which gives you, you know, more of that like strawberry reddish lip without actually wearing a red lip. And I have so many colors of these and I really like them. Also the formula on point, like beautiful, non-sticky, very glossy, glides on like a dream. And a similar effect with a little bit of a maybe like a plumping effect, is the Fenty, what are you called? It's the Gloss Bomb Ice Cooling Lip Luminizer. This is a similar thing. It's not like fully opaque blue, but it's like a tone, you know? So I'm gonna show you again, just on my lip.
this one is I don't even think this one's supposed to be plumping it's just it's just kind of cooling but a similar story this one is probably even like less cool tone because it's not tinted like almost at all but it still gives you see this like cool tone to the lips now I want to show you the trick in action by the way the Fenty gloss I don't even think I have to talk about it like their formula is on point they wear really well they last really well I would say they're pretty fairly priced for being a high-end gloss. Since we're talking nudes, I'm gonna take the Bell Cosmetics Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade 3. This is what I consider a neutral tone. This is it, a bit more neutral tone. I think you can tell even on the camera, like this is a lot less cool tone than the rest of the shades we had. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take my next gloss and show you the magic. And now, even with like a more neutral liner, this went a bit more cool toned. I like that a lot. So that's what I usually tend to do with these blue glosses. If you ever wondered why are these even on planet Earth, this is why. Or at least that's why I think they're here. And I like them a lot. And you can do a similar thing with like a more cool toned liner and like an orange gloss. So this is a trick I wanted to show you. I think it's important to know that you don't necessarily need to purchase seven different lipsticks. But you know, you can kind of work with what you already have. And maybe just purchase a gloss that's going to give you a little bit more cool toned vibe. And there we go, this is like my favorite cool toned lip ombre featuring the I Quit lipstick from Fenty and also the NYX This Is Juice gloss. This is my favorite lip when I wear cool tones. So yeah, hopefully I helped you pick out your next cool tone lipstick or lip product or whatever if you were looking for one or I taught you like a good trick with that blue toned gloss because I like it a lot. So thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing and if you want to see more videos where I talk about makeup, you can check out the playlist. See ya!